Hello humans and the alien doctor, but you can call me alien and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition beta video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest beta, which is of course Bedrock Edition Beta 1.17.10.21. However, before we do that, I do just want to take a look at this. So, Minecraft on the official Minecraft Twitter account tweeted, Grab your nearest uh, calendar and start circling with a vengeance. Caves and Cliffs Part 1 arrives June 8th on both Bedrock and Java. Learn all about this jam-packed new update right here. So I just wanted to point out in this video that we now actually have a release date for 1.17, aka Caves and Cliffs Part 1 which is, of course, on the June the 8th, which at the time of recording is the 4th. By the time this video goes out, it'll be the 6th, which means at the time that you're watching, unless you're watching this in the future, Caves and Cliffs will be coming out on the 8th, which is a Tuesday. But without further ado, let's actually take a look at some of the content inside the beta and not just, you know, outside of the actual beta itself. And we're actually gonna start off with a known issue, a bug with this beta, which is due to submission issues, this week's beta update will not be available on Android devices. It will return soon and multiplayer with the previous beta will still work if you want to play with this beta. So basically you could, like let's say I'm on PC right now, a PC player could still play with an Android player that's in the beta from the last beta, if that makes sense. Because uh, yeah, and the reason why is due to a submission issues. This most likely means that the uh, Google Play Store denied Minecraft beta to be submitted on there, or it could have just been that they didn't have enough time to submit it, or there's a ton of reasons why however it's basically that they couldn't get it on the google play store i believe they don't actually have that much details in the changelog about these sort of things so that was speculation so something they have added in this beta which i've seen a ton of people raving about <laughs> is that you can now get potted azalea and potted flowering azalea in the flower pot of course which you craft using clay and uh, i mean this is actually my first time seeing it in game and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I actually quite like it. Yeah, like these are pretty cool. Although I'm not sure if they replace my all time favorite potted flower, which is the cactus. I just really like the way the cactus looks inside of a flower pot. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess you could be the judge of that in the comment section. Which one do you prefer? Potted, az potted azalea and flowering azalea? Or the cactus. I'm, hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of 50 50 on it. So, the rest of this video is going to be bug fixes. There aren't actually any new features that I can tell. This is likely because 1.17 is releasing so soon now that they have, you know, got all of the actual features done and now just need to bug fix them, which is a good sign. The first bug fix was that diamond ore is now correctly. Uh, sort of distributed around the world so it hasn't said whether there was too much or too little diamond ore uh, you know generating in the world however it should now be correct to what it will actually be so the glow lichen can now be destroyed and it will only be dropped when you mine it with shears so yeah we got three there if we try punching it as you can see here it does not drop the other test I want to do is whether it drops if you mine it with a silk touch pickaxe. So let's see. And no, it does not drop when you mine it with a silk touch pickaxe. I personally think this is a bug. However, it might not be. The reason I think this is a bug is because you can mine other things that you would normally mine with shears and it will drop. So for an example, obviously if we punch leaves, it won't drop. If we mine it with shears, then leaves will drop, and if we mine it with a salt touch pickaxe, leaves will also drop. Which makes me think that the fact that the glow lichen does not drop is a bug. So they have fixed the enchantment penalty when you disenchant something using the grindstone. So what this means is if you put a piece of gear like this netherite pickaxe into a grindstone and then unenchant it, if you then re-enchant it, the cost basically will be reset down to what it would be if you had just crafted this pickaxe. This was broken in previous betas but has now been fixed. So a couple of fixes to do with glow signs is that now black text will now have an outline. So as you can see here, we have just used the glowing ink sac on this sign and it now has an outline to make it look like it is glowing. If we actually set the, t set the time to night that it looks significantly brighter than the rest of these and then the other thing is that glow in ink sacks can actually be used on signs that have black text which is signs by default unless you're using the little unicode symbol of course 
So the most like biggest change slash bug fix in this beta is basically they fixed a bug which has been in the game for nearly three years. In fact, maybe even over three years now. I can't remember. It's been in the game for a long time, multiple years basically. And it is that if you blow up a stray with a charged creeper, the stray will no longer drop a wither skeleton skull head, which you can use to get beacons, of course, because then you would use it to summon the wither to get another star to craft a beacon. So as you can see, if we like the charged creeper, it will kill the stray and no longer drop a wither skeleton skull in the full release. If you do this, then it will drop a Wither Skeleton Skull. What this means is, is that we no longer have very OP and easy beacon factories, which is kind of a shame because they were really easy and OP, especially because of the fact that now we could use uh, powdered snow to convert skeletons into strays. We could have had like starter beacon farms as well. I'd already started designing them that use dungeons and that sort of thing. but. It is a shame that we can no longer have this. However, I also think it is long overdue this bug has been needed fixing. <laughs> so uh, I am kind of glad to see it go because, I mean, hopefully server economy will get a little bit back to normal as well. Because that's the other thing is that I know a lot of servers have had issues with there just being too many beacons. And, that, you know, people selling beacons for, like, one iron because of how, like, easy they are to get. So, yeah, this bug fix is probably a good thing for most people. The other thing is with bug fixes like this is don't get too mad at the devs or anything else really to do with this. Because remember that these are bugs and if you build a farm all based around a bug, then there's always a chance that farm will break. So, my recommendation would be to you is uh, if you want to then you need to make use of this bug if you want to get a ton of beacons quickly but once it's gone it's gone basically another bug that has been fixed which has been in the game for a surprising amount of time actually is the ability to basically create a, a zip line or um, as it's labeled in the change log players can no longer swim through the air on the platform <laughs> though it looked pretty cool that's what they added so um basically if you had a setup somewhat similar to this and well I guess you don't actually need this bend I just wanted to see if you could go around corners and then I remembered that this bug was patched <laughs> so basically what you'd be able to do is go into a bubble column go into swim mode and then if you swim through here and hold space then you would basically stay on the ceiling and be able to swim around it there'll be a clip on screen of someone doing that right now and that clip will be linked in the description if you want to watch it yourself because yes <laughs> Other than a couple of changes to the game test network, data-driven mobs, and also the way that chunks save, that is going to be it for today's changelog and today's beta video. The full changelog is in the description, however I've covered all the things that are of interest to most people. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe today to join the Alien Empire and like, because that does greatly help out the channel. But other than all that jazz, I'll see you in the next video coming very soon. Bye.